Hi guys! Today we're actually going to talk about 10 positive things coming out of this terrible, horrible corona pandemic COVID. Yes, 10 things that actually will make you smile. Smile? Yes, 10 things that has changed from before uh, the pandemic and after the pandemic. Oh, positive vibes. And I know you are there in a lockdown, isolated. <laughs> Maybe you have some loved ones sick or dead and we are sorry for that. But actually, there are good things coming out of this. Are you ready? What are you doing? What's this? Okay, before the COVID pandemic, Norwegians, we had frozen pizza for dinner five times a week. I love frozen pizza. Is it good? We don't care. It's not supposed to taste anything. But after the COVID, look at Mats. He was eating this five, six times a week. Don't out me! Look at him now. Yeah, that's actually true. A I started to make food from the ground up and my partner really has started to making things like Swedish meatballs from the ground up. I'm, and I'm cinema buns too. Cinema buns, buns. oh yes. he loves it. So them. during this pandemic we have said goodbye frozen pizza and yes to homemade food. There's Ronald. Hello, Ronald. Ronald? Ronald, don't you know me? What's happening here? What's happening? Ronald? Can you explain this to me? There's something bothering me here. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I thought we were yeah, friends. We can, yeah, we can... Oh, there is Ronald. Ronald, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm what is this? Norwegians, we don't speak to uh, strangers uh, uh, before COVID time, but after COVID time, you have something to share. I mean, we are all in this together, so suddenly we are in the same boat. So that's a very nice thing from this uh, COVID thing. So I could say hello. hello. And you will say hello to me. Yeah. <laughs> but yesterday, you or possibly two would. Ago. Two months ago, it would be. You would be looking the other direction. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and this is a good thing, at least for us Norwegian. Probably for you guys too. Before COVID, when you were here in a grocery store or any store, Norwegians, we tend not to care about the people working here. We're like, yeah, oh, yeah, that's the work. And it's like nobody wants that work and you're really not talking to the cashier. You're just doing the things. And He's a nobody. Yeah. In Norway, you should, you should be a financial person or you should be an engineer or something and you don't even look at them. You just buy and leave things like this. But now, after the COVID, he is a hero. I mean, he's the only one working. I am out of work. You talk to him. Yes, and I'm saying, Thank you, he says. Thanks a lot for being at work. The I new have, heroes. I have lost my work. 
when his work is so much more important than me. I'm working in marketing, who cares? A grocery store, that's a very important thing. So, yes, those are the new heroes. And that's a cool thing. I hope it continues. Yeah. As Norwegians, uh, we are not very into family. We like to be independent, we like to hang with friends, and we visit our uh, parents, our family, maybe once a year, maybe for Christmas, maybe we see them once in, uh, for the summer vacation. But no, after this pandemic, after this horrible COVID uh, stuff, what do we Norwegians do? And maybe you do the same. We visit our family. We appreciate you our family. You visit the family? Yes. Where have you and brought suddenly, me? And suddenly that's one of the beautiful things that we do. We're hanging out with our family and we love to see them. Where have you brought and now me? I to have, my family? And this is actually Mott's family. It's Mott's father. It's Mott's stepmother. Uh, if, this Hello. Had, if this had been an ordinary year, he would not have seen them at this time. <laughs> it's not a vacation, it's not a special occasion, it's just a weekend. You are welcome. Thank you. Yes. But how do you feel that you're... We love you. We love you yes. too. What? Yeah, all of a sudden we say, love. we love you. And that's really not something that Norwegians do. So that has also changed since the pandemic, actually. But before it was like, hello, yeah. can I borrow some money? No, it was like... And now it's yeah. like, hello, I love you, can yeah. I borrow some it's money? It's a big change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Normally he has no time to visit. No, that's true. It's Norwegians so don't visit their family. No. Nor I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. Because he I love you. Sitting, uh, yeah, thank you. Home, yeah, he just home. says thank you. It's very Norwegian. Yeah. I said I love you, and he says thank you. <laughs> well, something, so, something hasn't changed. <laughs> okay, before the pandemic, you had to work on that summer body. 2020 you had to fix your hair you had to be really fit for, oh to hit the it, beach. It, it, it was exaggerating it was too much uh, but uh, after the pandemic after the pandemic you can relax nobody cares how you look on your hair no we are all getting a little bit chubbier we all have that uh, corona body no, I like it the most. With this uh, hair. Yeah, he looks younger. Yes, younger. Yeah. Yes. It's the same yes. with his son. Can we please uh, have a camera on his son? <laughs> it's so cool because uh, during uh, the Corona pandemic, there are no bad hair days <laughs> because we are all looking terrible on our hair. <laughs> so much. It's bad hair day, and I wear it proudly. Hello. Let me see you here. Yes. Yeah, let yes. me see you at the back of your growth. Yes. Yes. I'm we look beautiful. Oh, we are too close. Oh, I love my fluffy yes. undone here. It's too long, maybe. But mm. uh, what about yours? Neither. It's longer. So. How was it before? Now I have to use a long time to the, 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 to prepare it. Okay. Yeah. Let me so. see the worst. Yeah, no, because then I'm destroying it, so it's not going to happen. So who cares about that body? Who cares about that hair? It's be who you are after the pandemic. We are all the same. We are. You can relax. You can enjoy. You can cool today. It's healthy. It is. Before the pandemic, time, stress, appointments, uh, work, school, training, friends, hobbies. Picking uh, up in the kindergarten. Garden. Oh, I can't and eat you it today. Oh, time. you have to rush it. You have to rush, 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 rush. But after the pandemic, the clock stopped. And suddenly we have time. Time to do things that we really didn't have time to do before. Uh, time to be very thorough, do the details, 
really do the things that you have been wanting to do for maybe a year, five years, ten years. You don't really make any plans because there are no plans to make. You're like a child. Yes. What's like... here in front of you? The water, the river, the trees, the spring, the birds, the fish maybe in the water. Those things are important now. These things you appreciate, the small things in life. A duck going into the water. Is there anything lovelier? I don't know which day it is. I think it, yeah, some, some day. It's a day. It's summer. Holiday. I think it's spring. Yeah, maybe towards winter. Not winter yet. I don't remember. Is it Sunday? Uh, I think Sunday was... Yeah, it's it's coming a Sunday. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. I don't remember. I know it's day because I can see the sun. It's day. It's day. And the time is nine o'clock. And it's been nine o'clock. Maybe. It's been nine o'clock for one month now. It has. And now to this very, very sweet uh, thing that happened after the corona. Because before corona, pets had a life like this. Okay, goodbye. Shut up, goodbye. I'm going, goodbye. You got water. You got water. Behave. We left them I see you. forever. I'm just, father is going for a quick tour. He will be back in one week. Bye. Behave. But no, every minute of the day is a joyful moment between the pet and its owner. A, a loving, sweet moment with strong emotions and a lot of love. Pussy, 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 come, come. Oh, pussy, 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 pussy. Before COVID, when you live in a city like Oslo, the capital of Norway, the sounds, the ambient, it's all mechanic. It's all cars and uh, trolleys, tubes, bicycles. It's not organic. But after the pandemic... You hear the sound of nature in the middle of the city. You feel the presence of animals, birds, insects, the bumblebees in Oslo. They're taking over the city. They are. And the bumblebees in Oslo, they are really huge. And you will hear the birds. And you might see some animals too in the middle of the city. And that's a nice thing. Some we have gone from being a mechanic a sounding a thing Listen. to an organic the nature has taken over. So, what's your positive experience from this pandemic? That thing that you were thinking, wow, I really appreciate this. Give us a comment. Give us a story. And push we, the bell, subscribe and everything and share with to. us. But we read all your stories, we love them and you guys are really motivating us. So please share your positive Corona stories. Okay, next. Oh, there's Ronald, hello! Long time no see! What do you do for a living? What? Uh, oh, nice weather. Look at the sun. Yeah. What do you do? What are what you occupied with? What's your work? Ronald? Come back and explain this to me. 
before the COVID uh, telling others that you were unemployed, that you had to receive benefits from the government because you didn't have work. That was a huge shame, shame in Norway. But uh, these days, no problem. We are all on benefits. And even in the West End, the, this posh West End, here there are 14-15% unemployment. So there's no more pandemic, uh, no more shame. No, not shame. And we are all equal and we are all like the, the, uh, rich, poor, the, the people that were poor, the ones working in the grocery store, washing floors. And they are so the are, heroes. Yes, and they have work. But the money guys, the marketing guys, you know, the, the things, the hype businesses, we are out of work. So we can, and we are not ashamed of going into no, that benefits queue. Suddenly you can say, you can I'm say oh, out I'm on out of work yes, and it's okay. It's, it's nice totally weather outside. Okay. It's totally okay. But maybe the best thing about the pandemic, the COVID, is that we in your way to Norway, we have much more time to create more videos. And if you like what you see, push the bell and subscribe. So, I don't know. I think that the things that you appreciate in a situation like this, all the things, all those nice things, the sum of it makes this very good. But we want to read your good stories, your positive, your smiling stories from the pandemic. And I think we all need them now. And give us a like in it. If you like it, and give us a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Of course. And goodbye. Bye bye. We love you all. Stay safe. I think and I will end sane. up in the water. Oh no! I died from water, not COVID. <laughs>